I'd like to walk you through a very practical example of how to do a database using um, a tool. If you have any kind of database tool available to you, uh, Microsoft Access is going to be it. So I'd like to walk through a simplified version of what we've talked about elsewhere as being the Pandora information model and implement it in a, um, in a Microsoft Access database. So let's briefly review the, um, the Pandora information model. Uh, the two entities that we're going to focus on, the two types of information we're going to focus on, are the band and the song. And if you remember, the band is pretty simple. It has a name, the name of the band. It has an identifier, which is a sequential number. It has some biography, which might be um, a number of sentences. And it has some picture that's a JPEG. Uh, similarly, the song, which is related to the band, the song, which is related to the band, um, has a title which is one sentence long. It has an ID, which also is a sequential number. It has some sort of lyrics, which, like the bio of the band, can be multiple paragraphs long. And it has a genre. Um, this is a simplification of what we said um, earlier about the Pandora information model. Here we're going to say that the genre of the song is one value from some list that Pandora has come up with for all the different, um, all the different genres. Okay, so the final thing that we'll work through is the relationship between the song and the band. Obviously, every song has a band, right? And so the song and the band are related in some way. So let's walk through the creation of an access database and see how all of these different parts will fit together, starting with creating the band. Okay, so to create an access database, I will just start access. Um, and as I said, if you don't have it on your own computer, I'm sure there's a computer at the, at, at the UW that you can use to uh, create an access database. So the first screen you see looks very complicated, but actually it's really very straightforward. All I have to do is over here is go to the file name over here and type in the name of the file that I want. I'm going to call it Pandora. Um, and I think maybe it's going to say, do you want to replace it? Because I've already created one like that. And I click the Create button. Yes, I do want to replace it. OK, and then you get a screen that looks like this. Um, uh, access trying to be nice to you always gives you a table, table number one, but we don't want table number one, so we'll just get rid of table number one, and instead we'll go to the create menu and create our own table. So what do we want to have in this table? Let's look back over here. We want to have a band which has a name, a bio, an ID, and a picture, and we want to, as much as possible, make the, um, the value patterns the way that we see them here. Okay, so I'm going to switch views here, and I'm going to go into... Let me show you how this works. I click down here and I say I want to go into design view because we want to design this table. And at that point, it asks me to name it and it's the bands table. Okay, so all my bands are going to go in here. Then each band is going to have an ID. Back, right, there's the ID. And in fact, it already gives it the pattern. Data type in access language is the same as what we've been calling value pattern. And it already gives it the um, the value pattern of uh, auto number, which means it's going to be uh, a number that increments every time we put a new um, a new band in here. Then we know that the band has a name, and let's see, I like to use lowercase letters here. Um, and this message just says that you know what I already used the word name for something, so be careful. Well, we'll be careful. And that name is going to be text. Lots of different things it could be. Here's a whole list of things it could be, but we're going to say the name is text. If the band has a name. The band has a bio. Now, I need something different than just text here because if you see down here, text has a maximum number of 255 characters and my bio could have a lot more. They make a very special um, data type for that called memo and the memo can have as much stuff in it as you want. So we had ID, name, bio, uh, picture. And I'm also going to make the picture is actually a JPEG, but there's no, um, there's no, uh, type that says JPEG, so I'm just going to say it's text, and I'll just type the name of the picture in there. Okay, let's go back and look at our band. Notice we have an ID, that's a sequential number. We have a name, that's a few words, so it can be short, it can be one of those texts. We have bio, which is long, long, so we have to make it into that memo type. And we have a picture, which is going to be the name of some JPEG, JPG file. And so this structure inside of our database, the band table, with all of these different, um, with all of these different pieces in it, is, um, is what we need. Now let's go and um, immediately put some data in our bands table. So here we have, oh yes, I'll save the table, that's fine. And now it should start to look pretty familiar. This really is just, uh, it looks like Excel. So I can type a name in here. And in fact, I've, um, 
got all my names here. So the band here is Elliot Smith. And that's the name of the band. Here's the Elliot Smith bio. And I'm going to say the picture is Elliot.jpg. And there's band number one. Notice the ID was filled in for me already with a one. Let me go in and put in a new band. And the band I want here is called Missy Higgins. So band number two is Missy Higgins. Let me give, get the bio here. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm pasting this real long bio in here. You can see it's very big. Okay, and then a picture, Missy.jpg. Now I have two bands, just like that. And if I want a third one, I can go down here and start typing in a third band. But for us, two bands is going to be fine. 